Kips Clips. Alrighty, YouTube, another one of Kips Clips. So just sitting down, trying to get back up to speed and catch up on all the so-called alternative bullshit with, with with regards to it comes to Trump. Um, I, I I love to see this. I don't hate it. I absolutely love to see it. I, again, my prediction was absolutely spot on. <laughs> Um, I said Trump would get elected and he'll be getting used to kill America, just like Brexit was used. I didn't predict, predict Brexit, that came as a surprise, but you use the hindsight of Brexit, see what Brexit's getting used. Brand Brexit is getting used to break the back of Britain. <laughs> End of. It's, Brexit isn't taking us out of the EU, it's destroying and pulverising Britain to such a weak position that we'll beg to go into the EU in 5-10 years time or what have you. That is the plan. That is what Brexit's getting used for. That is what Trump <laughs> is getting used for as well. Um, congratulations. Congratulations to you. <laughs> because um, now Steve Pachenik, who again, kind of career intelligence stood, he's been part of, oh man. Um, he was, oh man, hold on, he's Secretary of State, isn't he? Sorry, he was the, the former United States Department of State official. Um, right, so he is obviously telling you the truth. He's not, he's just a good patriot saving the system, sucking Donald Trump's cock. We all know how patriotic Donald Trump is. Um, Congratulations. Yes, you've done a fast one. Thanks to Alex Jones. See the one thing about Trump getting elected? I hope to God when time and memorial comes, this is the death of Dabu Seven, this is the death of Alex Jones, the death of David Icke, the death of all these fake ass morons that all they've done is led you up the garden path, drove you batshit crazy, never gave you any ability to see the wood for the trees of how to change, get away from the system, but no, they've manufactured your consent and got you mobilised and engaged in the system that they taught you to hate in the first place to facilitate the new world order. The crashing of the old to usher in the new, the change which is Bre which the Brexit represents, which Trump rep Trump <laughs> Trump which Trump represents change ushering in out the old and in the new. People are all radicalised, ready for all these mental crazy ass changes that were told by the best looking puppet that's put in front of us is good for us. So sorry to say it, but I, I, I actually genuinely did predict Trump getting elected. Everybody thought I was mental, but I was spot on. And um, this is what you're going to get. This is what you're going to get. Let's listen to the language coming straight out of the alternative now new world. Ah oh, man, these people, um, who, I, these aren't the elite. Trump isn't an elite. Pischenik isn't elite. Alex Jones isn't an elitist. Now these are all just run of the mill, million dollar, pouting fucking morons for America. To either Icon or Steve Mnuchin. Both of them are very close friends of Trump. Uh, Steve Mnuchin was a, a senior executive at Goldman Sachs for. Hmm, so Pichenik, who came out and was part of the PR campaign to get Trump elected, called it a soft coup and all that crap. He's now coming out telling, kind of indicating who's going to be in the Trump administration. And yeah, that's right, Goldman Sachs, ex Goldman Sachs executive. Sound familiar? 14 years, and at the same time, he was the senior official for finances for Trump on the presidential committee. What is it with these elite scumbags and not having the ability to say that Essie's slivering snakes, you snaky looking bastard? I don't know what it is. There is something weird genetically about these people and the, the, the abnormal amount of them that you see as talking heads and all these culture creators and they can't say their essays from the news programs, everything. Just, just bear it in mind and you will see. I do not see this abnormal amount of people with that speech impediment in my day-to-day -day life. You come over to the media, or mainstream media and so-called alternative media alike, all you do is get sick of people with such a... Richie Allen, Steve Pachenik, just two bounce straight into my head from the real alternative media. 
Uh, Carl Icahn would make a great U.S. trade representative who would renegotiate the trade agreements if he feels that they have to be renegotiated or if they have to be modified, he knows how to modify them. The Justice Department would go to uh, Giuliani who... Giuliani, again, let's go and look into Ru Rudolf Giuliani or whatever the guy's name is. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm firing from the hip here. Was that no the mofo that was mayor of New York during 9-11? And was in all the 9-11 documentaries get caught out in a million and one different lies saying why the mayor wasn't here. I might be actually wrong. Hopefully I'm not wrong. Or was he, was he no like the, the head of police that done the... Um, he's no what I'm talking about. These guys are the system. They are the authoritarianism. And because Trump came up and meant, eh, hey, deport the Mexicans. Keep your guns. Everybody's just fell into the trap. I mean, it's not as if politicians just rock up in front of you and say whatever there needs to be fucking said to gain your loyalty, to get your ex in your box, then to go about doing their own business. Who knows uh, the justice very well. He would become attorney general. He's a very strong prosecutor. And I think the issue of where Clinton will or will not be indicted has to... The issue of Clinton will, will or will not be indicted. Ah, already the language changed. Not lock it up. You would be in jail if he shoot or was shooting. Ah, so on and so forth. Reside with you. The gangsters, when the real people come looking for them, all stick together, even though they're all fighting for territory. The gangsters will still back each other up over the fucking cops. Think, and I'm, I'm not saying good guys, bad guys. I'm saying that analogy. Trump is a gangster. The Clintons are gangsters. They stick together when people come genuinely gunning from them, but they will try and knock each other out for fighting for territory. This is all we've witnessed. Giuliani, as for... You get rid of one click to bring in another click. Well done, America. Well done, Alex Jones. Well done, EMTV. Well done, Mark Dice. Well done, all the moron alternative media selling your country down the river for an AR-15 and some tangy tangerine. Or uh, Secretary of HHS, uh, Health Human Services, I would strongly recommend Dr. Ben Carson, a medical doctor, an outstanding neurosurgeon from John Hopkins, who at the same time should be the Surgeon General of the Public Health Service, which is a quasi-military organization, which we do need in order of an outbreak of Zika virus, Ebola, and they had not... So, the Trump... My administration, PR guy, Pachenik, Alex Jones, he's fucking bed buddy, sitting up there and telling you we need to do this for Don Carson because of Zika and Ebola. Now, I don't know what kind of circles you <laughs> travel in or think about. There's questions behind those two phony diseases and what they've been used for. But hey, who... Congratulations. Congratulations, mate. You have pulled a fast one. And I hate Hillary Clinton, right? Instead of people voting for either of these Muppets, you should have been declaring yourself fucking independent and doing a digital declaration of independence. Formed very well in the past. As for Director of National Intelligence and the CIA, I would recommend Michael Flynn, former Lieutenant General of the Defense Intelligence Agency. I think he would be an outstanding choice in compiling both the CIA and military intelligence into one unit. In short, I want those 16 intelligence units contracted and made smaller so that they become more effective. Right, and in, in short, what he's trying to do is centralize the power in more concentrated areas. But no, Trump said some good things, vote for him. And I want the CIA to convert back to being a human organization and not a drone warfare unit. In turn, I think uh, Kelly Ayotte has been very effective as a senator and as a prosecutor in New Hampshire. I think she should get Secretary of Commerce, Secretary of the Interior, or Secretary of Agriculture. I think it's up to the Trump organization. Again, those are the people... Trump Corp. America has just been taken over by the Trump Organization. <laughs> yeah, you do what we say, we put a bullet in your head, man. Oh shit, I can't do a fucking New York gangster accent. All that we've talked about, those are the uh, issues that have to be a concern, and we will discuss what he should and shouldn't do in the next block. Thank you very much, Mr. and Mrs. America. Thank you very much, Mr. and Mrs. America. Edward Bernays would be so proud of you. Make America great again. 
Mr. and Mrs. America. Keep your guns. And shoot throughout the brown people. And it's managed to mobilise enough morons to keep enough people engaged in the system for long enough for another four or eight years of this shite while, we can, the, while you continue to slip into a mire. And Donald Trump is going to be the death of America. Mark my words, I don't know man, maybe I might be right yet again. Um, I'll leave a link for this piece of shit down below. Um, it'll, take me a, it'll take me a while to really catch up with all this stuff man, but I do need to try and get there man. Um, I need to go and listen to what Alex Morons Joan and his cronies are all saying, man. If, if they can get all the spunk off their face after their big after show party. Uh, it really sickens me to see so many people manipulated. I don't give a crap what you actually genuinely believe if you come to that way of thinking, but just see morons getting manipulated with dickheads like this, dickheads like Jones, even Mike Rivero. What a fan, Dan. Absolute fan, Dan. <coughs> He's talking about, oh, the first hundred days of Trump's going to be the most vital. That's exactly what Mike Rivero was saying as well. They're both singing from the same fucking hymn sheet. Anyway, leave a link for this down below. You can go and check it out. Thumbs it up. Share it on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Plus, all the good stuff. Um, remember, if anybody wants to support any of my work through the Patreon or PayPal links, they are below as well. Leave all your comments, good, bad, ugly, and indifferent. I will read and respond to as many as I can. Um, I swear to God, the amount of things I am predicting that's coming true don't get value from like that anywhere else on the alternative media or the bullshit alternative media. Let's use Trump getting elected. Well, this is bad. I'm going to try and use Trump getting elected to point and make people see Alex Jones and his industry, the, the, the truther industrial complex, how they are all controlled and they are manufacturing your consent into a system that they, they get you there by saying is a bunch of shite. They're out there sucking in the disillusioned with their tractor beams of bullcrap. Anyway, all right to YouTube. Ciao, cheese. <laughs>